G'day kids, it's Rick and welcome to Rouseabout at Rouse Hill Anglican Church. I wonder what you've been doing this morning. Maybe you woke up uh, uh, and did a big yawn and a big stretch. Maybe you put your clothes on, you took your pyjamas off and then pulled t-shirt down over your head and put your arms through and then put some pants on and you might have had breakfast this morning a bowl of breakfast with a spoon or some toast with butter and Vegemite or jam or honey or peanut butter I wonder what you've been doing this morning if your parents would like to send me a message to say what you've been doing, then I can, then I'll know. We've already had some hellos coming in. We've got a hello from Rosie and Millie. Great to see you, Rosie and Millie. I'm glad you could join us. And a hello from Lewis. Really nice to see you, Lewis. And some other people might join in as the time goes by. But we're awake. And we're ready to sing the hello song. I've got my hands ready to clap. Clap your hands. Everyone together. Stamp your feet. And turn around. Reach up high. And bend down low. It's good to see you. Hello, it's good to see you. Hello, clap your hands. Everyone together. Stamp your feet. Stamp, 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 stamp. And turn around. Reach up high and bend down low. We're friends of Jesus. Hello. We're friends of Jesus. Hello. Hello, everybody. Okay. Uh, we've had some people who have had porridge or porridge. It's always good to start the day with a good breakfast. And it's great to be able to start the day with Rouseabout. I wonder what things you can see in the background that are from our normal Rouseabout place. Hmm. Can anybody see the motorbike? Can anyone see the motorbike? Do you want to point to the motorbike now? Is it over here? Is the motorbike over here? No, it's not over there, is it? Is the motorbike over here somewhere? Hey, there's the motorbike. Who found it? You found it? Well done. I wonder whether Jesse, Samuel and Evangeline found the motorbike. G'day guys, really nice to see you. Uh, what else can you see from Rouse about? Hmm, I can see a drum. Can you see the drum? Can you point to the drum? It's got red and white zigzaggy stripes. There's the drum just there. And of course the drum sticks, because we need drum sticks to play the drum. I'll put the drum back. What else can you see from Rouse about? You saw Mother Duck, didn't you? Mother Duck fell off the arm of the chair. Hello, Mother Duck. How are you going today? Oh, really? Your children are all at home? Are you sure? Oh, that's good. You tuck them up in bed. Excellent. What did your children eat for breakfast this morning, Mother Duck? They ate worms for breakfast. Goodness me. Uh, and of course, I can see something else from the rouse about room just near where my arm is. We've got a shaker up there and a rainbow 
and some of the Duplo that we play with after Rouseabout. So all the Rouseabout things are still here for when you come back to Rouseabout. We sang the Hello song. We're going to sing another song now. You need to put your hands up like this and wiggle your fingers so that they are twinkling because we're going to sing. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. I heard you sing, you sounded really good. There's also a song about twinkle, twinkle, little car. Little star, my dad plays a rock guitar. But we'll stick to the star one. I've got five fingers on this hand. And one, two, three, four, five. What song starts one, two, three, four, five? That's right, once I got official live. Let's sing that one together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger, so which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. Ow! My finger hurts. But don't give up. Keep trying fishing. Let's sing it again. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger. So which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. You know what? I'm glad it was only a fish that bit my finger. I'm glad it wasn't a... Dinosaur! Imagine if a dinosaur had bitten your finger. Here's our first story today. It's called Dinosaur Roar! I wonder whether you can make a roaring sound. Roar! Like that. Dinosaur Roar. Dinosaur Roar! Look at that huge brown dinosaur roaring with big sharp teeth. Dinosaur squeak. Tiny little dinosaur. I think he's dropped something. So scared of that big dinosaur roaring at him. Dinosaur fierce. There's a big fierce dinosaur. Dinosaur Meek. That purple dinosaur looks very afraid of the big red dinosaur jumping at him. Dinosaur fast. Green dinosaur running really fast. Can you run fast? Dinosaur slow. Bomb. 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 Very, very slow brown dinosaur. Dinosaur above and dinosaur below. Can you see the above dinosaur? There he is. And can you see the below dinosaur? He's hiding just down here, right down low. Dinosaur weak. Oh, there's the weak one. There's the little weak dinosaur, trying to pull some grass out. Dinosaur weak. Dinosaur strong. That dinosaur's picking up a huge boulder. Dinosaur short. Lots of little short dinosaurs. And a short one here. <laughs> Or very, very long. The 
look how long that mummy dinosaur is, all the way from her tail to her head. Dinosaur fat. Mm. Big fat dinosaur. Dinosaur tiny. Tiny dinosaur. He's so tiny that you may not be able to see him. He's just down here. Look how tiny that dinosaur is. Look how fat that dinosaur is. Must have been eating lots of food. Dinosaur clean and dinosaur slimy. Can you point to the clean dinosaur? Yeah, that one's clean. And look how slimy the other dinosaur is. The clean dinosaur is even cleaning her fingernails. The clean dinosaur looks very, very worried. And the slimy dinosaur looks very, very happy. Di oh dear, dinosaur sweet. Oh, hello. I'm a sweet dinosaur. Dinosaur grumpy. I'm a grumpy dinosaur. Dinosaur spiky and dinosaur lumpy. Ow, 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 ow. I'm getting spiked on the spikes. All sorts of dinosaurs. Eating their lunch. How many dinosaurs can you see? All sorts of dinosaurs eating their lunch. Gobble, gobble, nibble, nibble, munch, munch, scrunch. Gobble, 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 nibble, 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 hum, 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 scrunch. I wonder whether those are the sounds that you make when you're eating your morning tea. Gobble, gobble, nibble, nibble, munch, munch, scrunch. And look, this dinosaur is even eating the letters. It's eating the H. I really like that book. It's fun to pretend to be dinosaurs. Hey, just got a message to say Indy is saying hi and Indy's trying to show me something. I'm sorry you can't show me Indy. It'd be pretty cool if you could though. Well, having read a book about dinosaurs, we should sing a song about dinosaurs. Mother Duck, do you want to help me sing a song about dinosaurs? You do? Dinosaur Stomp? That's right. I don't have a dinosaur, but Mother Duck's going to help me. I remember how it goes. I'm in a panic. I did know this one. <laughs> stomp, 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 stomp. The dinosaurs were dancing round the prehistoric swamp. They shook their heads, doodly lip, swished their tails, doodly lip, and did the dino stomp, 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 stomp. Dance, dino, dance, dino, stomp, stomp, stomp. Dance, dino, dance, dino, stump, stump, stump. They shook their heads, doodle doodle doodle, swished their tails, doodle doodle doodle, and did the dino stomp, stomp, stomp. Keep stomping. Stomp, 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 stomp. The dinosaurs were dancing round the prehistoric swamp. They shook their heads, doodle doodle doodle, swished their tails, doodle doodle doodle, and did the dino stomp, stomp. Stomp, stomp, dance, dino, dance, dino, stomp, 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 dance, dino, dance, dino, stomp, stomp, stomp. They shook their heads, doodle the lip, swish the tails, doodle the lip, and did the dino stomp. Yeah! Thank you, Mother Duck. Did you know that if you want to see a modern day dinosaur, you can go and look at a chicken? Chickens are really similar to dinosaurs. How crazy is that? That's what my friend Ash told me. Ash goes to the night church. Thanks, Mother Duck, for your help singing the Dinosaur Stomp song. 
I know some things, but I don't know everything. There is someone who does know everything. God knows everything. God knows when I sit down. God knows when I stand up. God knows when I jump and when I run and run and hop. God knows when I'm sleeping. God knows when I wake up. God knows when I jump and jump, run and run and stop. My God can see from far away. He watches over us each day. He knows the thoughts inside my head and all my words before they're said. God knows when I sit down. God knows when I stand up. God knows when I jump and jump and hop. God knows when I'm sleeping. God knows when I wake up. God knows when I run and run and stop. My God can see from far away. He watches over us each day. He knows the thoughts inside my head and all my words before they're said. God knows. We've got another hello, a late hello from Carl and Niels. <gasps> wow, they've been really busy this morning getting all sorts of things ready. Couches, chairs, bean bags, beds, nerves. I'm so glad you could join us, boys. I'm really looking forward to seeing you guys again. <clears throat> some of those dinosaurs were really tiny. Some of those dinosaurs were really big, but my God is so big. My God is so big. You can shout that bit. So strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. That's true. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do, that's true. The mountains are his, the valleys are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so, oh you were so loud, my God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. That's true. And we're going to hear from the Bible now about something that God did that was really, really amazing. This one's called the present. Do you remember Abraham from last week? Abraham and his wife had a baby boy called Isaac. Well, this story starts when Isaac was a bit more grown up and he could walk and he could carry things. Hmm, what's happening here? God knew that his secret rescue plan could only work if Abraham trusted him completely. God had to make sure that Abraham would do whatever he asked. So a few years later, God asked Abraham to give him a present. Hmm, Abraham in red is carrying something. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's the present. And Isaac in blue is carrying some sticks. That would be a very strange present. Getting sticks as a present? Abraham liked giving presents to God. He gave God his animals. They were called sacrifices. And they were a way to say, I love you to God. But this time, God didn't want a lamb or a goat. God wanted Abraham to give him something more, much more. He wanted Abraham to give him his son, his only son, the son he loved, Isaac. That's really strange. Put his boy on an altar and sacrifice him? How could God want him to do such a terrible thing? Abraham didn't understand, but he knew that God was his father who loved him very much. And so Abraham trusted God. Early the next morning, Abraham and Isaac set off. They climbed the steep stony trail up the mountain. Isaac carried the wood on his back. His father carried the knife and the coals. I'm getting really scared. What's going to happen? Dad, Isaac said, we have everything for the sacrifice. Except for the animal. <gasps> God will give us the lamb, my son, Abraham said. They built an altar and laid some wood on top. Abraham asked his son to climb onto the wood. Isaac didn't understand, but he knew that his father loved him. And so he trusted him. He climbed onto the altar. Isaac didn't struggle or try to run away. He lay there and didn't make a sound. Everything was ready. Abraham 
took up the knife. Tears were filling his eyes. Pain was filling his heart. He lifted the knife high. Stop, said God. Don't hurt the boy. I want him to live, not die. I know that you love me because you would have given me your only son. <gasps> Abraham felt his heart fill with joy. He untied Isaac, gave him a great big hug. For a long time, they stayed like that in each other's arms. Suddenly, Abraham saw a ram caught in some sacrifice, uh, some brambles to sacrifice. God had given them what they needed just in time. The ram would die and Isaac would live. Abraham sacrificed the ram. As they sat there that night, watching the stars, remember the promise God made about the stars? God helped Abraham and Isaac understand something. God wanted his people to live, not die. God wanted to rescue his people, not punish them. But they must trust him. One day, someone will be born into your family, God promised them, and he'll bring happiness to the whole world. God was getting ready to give his people a wonderful present. It would be God's way to tell his people, I love you. Many years later, another son would climb a hill carrying some wood on his back. Like Isaac, he would trust his father and do what his father asked. He wouldn't struggle or, ru or run away. Who was he? God's son, his only son, the son he loved. Jesus, the Lamb of God. The Bible's got some really strange stories, some things that are really hard to understand, but they all show that God loves his people and cares for his people. They all show that God can be trusted, even when he does things that seem very strange, even when he asks us to do things that are very strange. It's good to know that God loves us. Isaac and Jay and Abraham were so happy in the end of that story, weren't they? What should you do when you're happy? What song would you sing if you're happy? I know. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're tired and you know it, give a yawn. <gasps> if you're tired and you know it, give a yawn. <gasps> if you're tired and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're tired and you know it, give a yawn. <gasps> if you're... What do you think? If you're surprised and you know it, open your mouth. <gasps> If you're surprised and you know it, open your mouth. <gasps> if you're surprised and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're surprised and you know it, open your mouth. <gasps> if you're sad and you know it, shed a tear. If you're sad and you know it, shed a tear. If you're sad and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're sad and you know it, shed a tear. We feel all sorts of things, don't we? Sometimes we feel happy. Sometimes we feel surprised. Sometimes we feel sad. We can tell God how we feel. He cares about us very much. You could say something like this. Dear God, I'm feeling really happy. Thank you for things that make me feel happy. Or you could say, Dear God, that was such a surprise. Thank you for good surprises. Amen. Or you could say, God, I'm feeling really sad. Thank you for loving me. Please look after me even when I'm sad. Amen. God knows all about us. God is really big and can do things. And God loves us very much. We know that because he gave us his son as a present. Here at Rouse Anglican Church, we want 
parents, we want kids to know who Jesus is. Now, the best way to find out about Jesus is to read the Bible, but sometimes the Bible can be a little bit hard to understand, uh, a little bit strange. Uh, and so this is a really helpful little black book called Jesus. Uh, we'd love to give you this for free. So if you'd like to know about Jesus, uh, feel free to get in touch with me um, through the Facebook page or my email address, rick at rhac.org.au, and I'll happily send you a copy of this book. Um, uh, and a welcome to Rouse Hill if you want to find out about the church. Um, there are some other really helpful books about Jesus. Uh, How Can I Be Sure? What Happens When I Die? Um, and we can send you these books as well if you'd like to know more about Jesus and his love for us. I've got lots of things that I'm going to do today. I'm going to keep talking with Mother Duck, find out whether her children are still there or whether the little ducklings have gone over the hill and far away. Uh, I'm going to spend some time playing with Duplo today, try and build a really tall tower going up, up, up. And I know a song about that one too. Build it up, build it up, build it high. Build it up, 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 up into the sky. Look how tall high it is. Build it up, build it up, build it high. Build it up, 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 up into the sky. If you want to build some things out of Duplo today and send me a photo, I can show everyone next week what you've been building. I don't think I'll be able to ride the motorbike. My legs are too long. Hey guys, it's been so much fun doing Rouse About with you today. Uh, we have one song left to sing. Can you remember what song we sing? That's all right. We sing the goodbye song. And then after we sing the goodbye song, we have some morning tea. And you might need to have a sleep after lunchtime, but you can do some playing after morning tea. Clap your hands, everyone together. Stamp your feet and turn around. Reach up high and bend down low. Let's wave goodbye now. Let's go. Clap your hands, everyone together. Stamp your feet and turn around reach up high and bend down low let's wave goodbye now let's go let's wave goodbye now let's go key change uh hey kids i hope you have a really lovely day uh, to all the parents and carers out there i uh, hope you have a good day too drink lots of coffee it's wonderful stuff uh i need some coffee <laughs> Looking forward to seeing you again on a Thursday. Can't wait for the isolation to be over so that we can meet again. Bye, everyone.